Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of a repotting of one of my rare plants that is known as the Mesticoliba. Mesticoliba is uh, uh, indigenous to Africa. It's a very beautiful blooming plant. Is a member of the codexy form, which uh, in one of my videos I'm going to explain for you what are the codexes. They are blooming very often throughout the year. They are extremely very res uh, resilient to bad climate, very hot climate. They can sit in the sun all day during the summer with almost uh, 90 to 100 degree heat. This is uh, the color of the pictures. And this is the season that they are blooming. Mesticoliba is one of the plants that you can really work with very easily. It's not going to give you a lot of trouble at all. And uh, it does have a very gorgeous leaf structure, flowers, and also body structure, as you see. This is one of my uh, mid-size pieces. So I'm gonna take you to another plant and show you the bigger one that is very, very old. This is the another one. As you see, it's a giant body, almost about eight to 10 inches diameter. It's a multiple uh, root structure that is growing out of the soil. That's why it's known as codex. And again, it's getting very, very exotic. It's a very gorgeous bonsai. So uh, I'm going to take you to my table and show you a few. This is another one. It's blue big. As you see, this is a little bit younger. And this one is a bonsai that I did several months ago. These are the four inches, which they are also building this portion of the body inside of the soil, which I'll show you a little bit later throughout this video. Today, I'm going to work with this one. As you see, it's lots of roots, lots of roots out of the soil and very beautiful body structure. And this is the handmade pot that I'm going to plant it in. So let's look the process of going through and fixing this plant. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to trim a portion of the root to give a plant a little bit more room, as you see. Uh, these are the old roots. So we're going to do clean it up and get rid of the branches that is not pretty good alive. I'm gonna plant this one also uh, with a very beautiful uh, structure shape that grows nicely. These are the pieces we don't need. The root portion that is dead. So we are going to leave also with these pieces. This is what we are going to work with. 
as you see this is ready now I'm going to get the pot ready and start doing the potting by the way this is a very good soil is one portion peat moss what portion uh, cocoa moss what one portion perlite and one portion pumice this way has a very good drainage system and also does have a very good nutrition so this is the way we are going to plant this First we secure the side and then we bring the plant up and then we secure the back of the plant. And then secure this side of the plant. And then the front. You have to do the soil very tight that the plant doesn't move. So one of the tricks to this structure is this, that you use some of the lava rock and you put on each side of the plant like this and then you do the continuation of the soil on the top of that. This way the plant is secure and the rage and drainage system is fine. Generally, I used to work with the glass, but when you are doing this portion of the work, this kind of work is a little difficult to work with gloves. So you have to do it with hand, and then later on, I'm sure you wash your hand very nicely. But there is no chemical in this soil, it's all natural. So there is nothing to be worried about. So here you go, this plant is perfectly ready. Now I do a little bit trimming of the dead branches like this. 
this is known as trimming and cleaning. Now we are going to put some rock as a dressing for the plant. is ready so when you get to this level by almost finishing the plant you are going to put it in the shady area for 48 hours that the plant rejuvenates and then after that you give it a very good soaking water and uh, you leave it anywhere you want outside as I have said beginning of the video, this plant is very strong, very resilient. Uh, once a week water is very good. If you uh, didn't give it the water once a week and you forgot, don't worry about it. Nothing's gonna happen to the plant. Plant is very strong and very resilient. And it takes sun very, very uh, much. the codex in the future you see more branches coming out also to the beginning of the video I have mentioned about this small four inches by the way this plant is from the seed is the seed planting and these are the four inches right here so I'm going to take it out of the pot and show you exactly what I was saying about the body. Look at that. When you take it out of the soil, you see there is very much codex is developing. Clean it up just like the other one. So you see. Here you go. This is the body of this plant. Placing this in another 
bigger pot or a ceramic pot and then you open it the branches and make it like a beautiful candelabras just like that in another video I'll show you this one as I have said I decided to do this plant right here right now also that you see what I'm talking about so we're gonna put some soil in here this is subsoil that I placed in the pot and this is the plant I'm gonna raise it a little bit more This is also finished. It's very beautiful, small, gorgeous bonsai. This plant is very valuable and they are not young. So I want to go show you a few more right here I hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel and let me notify you for the new videos that is coming up I appreciate you watching my channel I hope this was helpful about this particular plant Mestic Colima uh, indigenous to Africa. Thank you and have a nice day.